Hey everybody, I'm back with another Ben 10 action figure review. Uh, today we'll be taking a look at Accelerate, Grey Matter, Forearms, and Stinkfly. Like I mentioned in my last video, uh, all these aliens here came with a couple accessories that were just standard for every figurine in this wave. Uh, one accessory was a little holographic disc and uh, depending on what direction you held that disc or what direction you looked at it, the image changed just to, to show been transforming into that alien and then the other accessory was the little film disc that showed a clip uh, or a little animation from the episode. Um, a couple of these figurines here did come with additional accessories and I will talk about that when I get to them. So the first alien I'm going to be taking a look at here is Accelerate. So let me get the rest of these guys down and we'll get talking about him. So here is Accelerate. This is everybody's favorite speedster. Sorry, fast track. Uh, but it's true, everybody loves this alien. Definitely a fan favorite. Um, but I'll go into articulation here. Uh, he does have the 360 head swivel. You can turn his head all the way around. No movement up or down, just to the side. Uh, he does have the 360 arm swivel. And then that's it for the arms. Nothing in the elbows, nothing in the wrists. Uh, he does have the hips. They can move back and forth. And then the knee joint can move a little bit. They don't move a whole lot, but just like that, just a little bit of movement there. And then nothing else in the legs. Um, kind of disappointing in that fact because, I mean, this alien's power is like, you know, derived from his feet and legs. He has super speed. Uh, I guess it kind of would have made more sense to have some articulation along the foot maybe, uh, just to give him some more dynamic posing. Like if you wanted to make him running, uh, then you could have had a bit more, uh, you could have had a few more options there, I guess if he had some of that articulation on the feet which usually for you know most other aliens isn't a huge complaint but for Accelerate like I said you know it would have been nice um, he does have articulation in the tail so this tail here can go 360 I mean in the show we I don't think we ever saw him with his tail all the way up like this it was always down or to the side he never really had it up like that but it is nice you can move that tail all the way around and then that's it for articulation on this guy detailing on his face is really nice you can see all the little lines there he's got the you know his mouth and the lines coming out of his eyes that all looks really good uh, Omnitrix symbol looks great a uh, little detail I, I like with this figurine is that he has a couple different hands there uh, they're posed differently one is open and he has like the three pronged fingers and then one is closed to give it that single point I do, I like that I mean it's not a huge detail but it adds a little character to the figurine um, it's got the elbow points there those stick out pretty far the helmet itself is really nice long and pointy just like in the show um, Balls, the balls on the feet look really good. They're kind of flat in there, as you can see. They got like a little hole, and they're kind of flat. And I think that's just for the purpose of uh, helping them stand. If they were completely rounded, might uh, might be more difficult to stand him. Um, speaking of standing him, this figurine doesn't actually really stand per se like he does in the show. Because, um, you know, in the show he would be standing here on the balls of his feet, uh, kind of like this with with the, the legs up in the air. Um, so that's more of what we would see in the show. Uh, obviously, you know, that's not going to balance well. That's not really an option uh, with the toy. So to make this guy stand in real life, he just kind of does that. So you use his tail to balance, and then he kind of just sits on the flat of his feet there. So again, you know, this, like in the show, compared to that, 
you can see the difference there. I mean, while it doesn't look completely right, you know, we would actually never see Accelerate sitting or standing like this. Um, it is what it is. I mean, there's just no way. I And the tail doesn't really reach that well. So if you wanted to, like, stand him on the, ball, the balls of his feet and maybe use the tail to balance, it might help a little bit. But for the most part, I mean, it's kind of... It is what it is. It's not perfect. But I usually just have him, like I said, like this, kind of sitting on the, the flat of his feet there. And then one other thing I wanted to talk about with Accelerate, um, you probably noticed I'm missing an accessory here. Uh, he does come with that the face plate. So there's, <clears throat> you know, when he runs, and that visor pops down as like a shield over his face while it, for while he's running. I am missing that accessory. This did come with a little face plate that you can just pop in there and it sits in there because these it's like indented here you can see so this face the face plate basically just sits in there. Um, I don't have that accessory. I know I, I've mentioned it a couple times that you know, I've had these figurines for a really long time, so I'm bound to be missing accessories and pieces here and there. This is one of those accessories. Uh, unfortunately, I would really like to have that accessory. It is a kind of a main part of Accelerate. You know, he drops that down every time he runs. But I haven't really wanted to uh, shell out the money to buy a new one from eBay. Most likely, if I were to do that, I'd have to buy the whole figurine. I'd really doubt anybody is out there just, just selling the visor um, so I just I haven't done that yet I, I would like to eventually but I am missing that and um, I will include a picture of it like I did with my last review I included some pictures to uh, show examples of the stuff I'm missing but that's pretty much it for Accelerate really decent figurine overall coloring is great So yeah, that's Accelerate, and then I will move on now to Gray Matter. I'll bring him up here as and do my scaling. I like to show you guys the scaling of these figurines compared to each other. So there's Accelerate compared to Gray Matter. Um, gray Matter is just one that is not going to have... There we go. That is just not going to have the scaling be correct I mean there's no way if you know if the scaling on gray matter was accurate to the show then gray matter would be you know way down here just barely at accelerates knee um, which would not make for a very good figurine they did make some uh, you know little mini figures of gray matter and stuff along the years like that but for an actual uh, posable action figure uh, in terms of that gray matter is just not you're not going to get them in scale uh, if you're looking for something like that. So let's get going on gray matter here. Um, I'll just start off by saying, uh, before I start off on the uh, articulation, I'll talk about the, ac uh, the accessory that gray matter came with. Uh, he did come with a little mini gray matter. Uh, it's really more of an accessory than an actual figurine uh, it's just a solid little piece there's no posability articulation or anything uh, but he did come with a little gray matter that was you know about this big maybe the the size of his head here uh, the size of this one's head just a little figurine um, so if you did want a more accurate to scale gray matter he did come with that option um, I don't have that uh, accessory obviously um, so uh, again I will include pictures of that at the end of, and at the end of my review uh, but moving on to the articulation he has the 360 head swivel man sometimes this 360 head swivel can get you some creepy looks that's just weird there but yeah 360 head swivel 360 arm swivel uh, the mid like middle of his arm I guess uh, where the the white meets the black and the gray uh, that can swivel 360 it's not really like it doesn't bend uh, so I don't know if it's articulated per se but uh, it does swivel 
Um, and then I remember, while I'm talking about this, this, you can see here, and I don't want to pull it out of the way if I don't have to, but you can see that this gray part will come out. It pops out. It's not solidly in there, uh, just due to the way it swivels. It's not actually so. Oh, okay, there we go. Wasn't wanting to do that, but it does actually pop out. I try not to do that just for the sake of, you know, keeping my figurines in the best shape possible, but uh, that was unintended. I'll pop it right back in there if I can. So, because of that, you know, obviously that didn't take a whole lot to just pop that out. Be do be careful if you have this figurine. You don't want, a, you know, a handless, armless gray matter. Be careful not to lose those. But that can't happen. So then he's got the hip movement here. It can go up, and it can go back. Actually, no, I really can't go back. That's kind of disappointing. So it goes all the way up to a 90 degree angle there, but then that joint at the hip does not move back at all. Nothing there. Uh, he does have the knee joints. They both bend pretty well. And then nothing in the feet, which again is pretty typical for these figurines. Um, for being such a small figurine, I mean, you can see, you know, my finger is bigger than him. Sorry about the paint. <laughs> I'm working on another project that involves paint, and I'm obviously not very clean when I do it. Uh, but anyway, um, he's about as big as my finger. My finger is a little bit bigger even. So this is a pretty small figurine. Um, so I mean, for being so small, he does come with some fair amount of articulation. In my experience, it seems like the smaller the figurine, the less articulation you're gonna get, uh, especially when they have these skinny little chicken legs and twig arms and stuff like that. You're not gonna get as much articulation, but you know, for for what he is and how big he is, it's he's got a fair amount of articulation. Uh, paint job and detailing looks pretty good. I do have a scuff there. Just gonna ignore that. Uh, it's not the paint job. It's just a scuff. Um, Omnitrix symbol looks good. It's on the back. One of the few aliens that <clears throat> it might be the only alien that you can't see the Omnitrix symbol from the front. But they do have that on the back, and it looks really good. Sticks out quite a ways. Nice, solid piece there. Um, the eyes and everything look good. You can see his little gills there. Those are indented and actually detailed. His mouth is indented there. And he's got that black line that goes on the on to the back of his forehead. You can see the little black shoes there with the back of his foot sticking out. That looks good. Uh, the toes are each individually sculpted and uh, got the indenting. Hands are good and well sculpted. So overall, like I said, I mean, for being such a small figurine, they did really good with him. Like the amount of detail they put into him is is pretty pretty awesome. Uh, I just I've seen it so many times before where the smaller of a scale you get to, smaller of a figurine. I mean, a lot of minifigures and stuff. You're just you don't get much detail. You don't get much articulation. So it's pretty. Uh, Pretty pleasant to see that they put some of this articulation and a lot of detail into this guy. And so the next alien will be forearms, uh, going from like the smallest guy to one of the biggest guys here. So I'm gonna bring forearms up and I'll do a little scaling. So there's forearms. And again, like I said before, you know, scaling is not going to be totally accurate. Uh, I mean, obviously, in the sense that forearms is bigger than gray matter, that's accurate. But gray matter is definitely not up to you know the elbow of forearms in the show. But there you go. I like to show the scaling and size of these figurines for for the sake of the review. So let's move on to forearms. Now this guy is 
probably the face of Ben 10. Um, I know I mentioned this with Heat Blast, that Heat Blast is commonly shown as the face of Ben 10, but I, I would have to say if I had to pick one alien from the entire continuity, every single series, if I had to pick one alien that was probably the face of Ben 10, I, it, would, it would have to be Forearms. Um, this guy, for the longest time, was one of Ben's favorite aliens, uh, if not his number one favorite alien. Uh, and he's just the one that you always see in promotional work and you always see associated with Ben 10. Uh, Forearms is like the Ben 10 alien, in my opinion. So let's move into the, art, the articulation. The head, little tiny head here, but it does swivel all the way around. Such a small head for a big guy, but it does go all the way around. No side movement, just uh, the normal 360 swivel there. Um, the arms, well, the top two arms, I'll have to specify which arms I mean, but the top two arms do swivel all the way around. And then surprisingly, they have the elbow joint, which I think so far the only other figurine that I have shown in these reviews with the elbow joint was Heat Blast. So it's nice to see this elbow joint, uh, especially with a character like Forearms, whose entire identity is kind of, you know, related to his arms. I'd say he's definitely deserving of that extra arm articulation. Um, so I always like seeing that elbow joint because it's, it's a rare thing to see in these figurines. Um, but then moving down to his secondary arms, uh, obviously we lose that elbow articulation. These are just complete solid pieces all the way down. Uh, actually, not all the way down. That's nice. There is a hand swivel here, um, which, you know, the top actually doesn't have. So while the top gets the elbow articulation, the bottom hands, or bottom arms get the the wrist swivel here so it's a little little something something you know to I guess make up for the lack of art of uh, elbow articulation in these lower arms you do get the hand swivel um, the lower arms though do not come with any um, really much of a swivel they kinda go up and down uh, but you're definitely not gonna get in them 360 you know obviously these arms are in the way so you wouldn't be able to do that anyway but these literally do stop right here you can't even if you wanted to even if these arms weren't here these stop you you couldn't move them at all um, like that but you know for like I said for a character who's like entire name and <laughs> namesake and you know, strength comes from his arms. They did. They did pretty good. Some good articulation. Uh, you got elbow, which you don't usually see, and you got the hand swivel, which you don't usually see. So I'm happy with that. It's pretty nice. Um, then moving down to the hips, he's got the typical hip joints. Doesn't go back very far. Does go back or does go up about 90 degrees. A little less than 90 degrees. You can see that. We got the knee joints in both legs move his knees up and down and then nothing in the feet just a solid piece there so as for articulation though I mean I think this guy probably has some of the best articulation we've seen so far in these figures that I've talked about uh, between the elbow joints the multiple arms you know the hand swivel in the arms it's a pretty decent amount of articulation in this guy Makes for some good posing. You want some like strong man posing and stuff like that. You can you can probably come up with some decent poses here. Now moving on to the paint and detailing. Really good. Seriously, I mean they just hit it out of the park with this guy. You know every muscle and little spike on his arm and like you can see they even have like uh, if it'll pick up here. There's like some neck folds right there under his chin. The detailing on his face is awesome. I mean, little tiny eyes, but they got them. They nailed it. The mouth, 
Uh, like I said, all these spikes on his arms. Yeah, every single one of these actually raised in 3D. Nothing's just painted on. Every muscle, you can see the back muscles here. That's actual detailing. The Omnitrix symbol sitting right there in the muscles of his arms. All these pecs and biceps and all that stuff. I mean, really good considering this guy is all about the muscle and the strength. Any paint defects you see on this guy is really just from old age. Everything that, you know, was from the manufacturer was painted great. Nothing's out of line. Nothing's missing paint. We've even got the details of the gloves here where it dips down a bit, uh, where his skin continues into the glove. Everything on this figurine is just really nice. They did, they did not, you know pull any punches if you will uh, with this guy he looks great very nice figurine um, now moving on to the last alien I'm going to talk about here is Stinkfly so I'll bring Stinkfly up to stand next to forearms and scaling here is probably the most show accurate that I've shown in this review so far He's about half a forearm's height, which I, I feel like I remember reading somewhere that forearms is like 10 to 12 feet tall. Uh, so about half of that would be like, you know, six feet, which I think would be pretty accurate for Stinkfly. So the scaling here is really nice. Um, like I said, probably the most accurate that I've shown in this review. So then moving on to Stinkfly. This guy is, he, he's, got, he's got a lot of articulation, but none of it's the typical stuff. Um, I mean, he do, well, he does have the head here, 360, uh, the arms swivel around 360, but then you come down here, and this is some weird articulation that you don't see much. It's, it's like conjoined articulation, where if you move this leg here, this move all this leg also moves. So if you move this up, both legs move. Why they did it like that, I'm not sure. Maybe saves money, saves time. I don't know. Um, kind of would have been nice to be able to move these independently, like you know, for just different poses and stuff. But uh, like I said, he's got the articulation. He is articulated, but it's just not your typical articulation that you see. Um, so yeah. And the bottom legs are just like that too. They don't move independently. You move one, you move the other. I got, I have to imagine that was just something to save money or time. I don't, I don't know why they would have done it otherwise. Um, and now the the tail back here is articulated. It's got a swivel, uh, so it does turn all the way around. Although I don't think he can really do that in the show. Um, so for, you know, posing, if you're trying to stay, like, show accurate and stuff, then probably won't ever really move the tail that far, but it, it is an option if you want to. Uh, the wings here, I'll, I'll talk about these, they are articulated, they can move them down, up and down. Um, you can see the joints and the hinges there, so these are articulated. Mine is just really stiff, like, to the point that I don't want to push it too far and break it. Um, so for the sake of the review, I'm probably not going to do that. Uh, but they are articulated. Uh, mine's just really old and really stiff. And I don't want to, like, <clears throat> break any of these metal joint pieces that are in there in the wings. I don't want to pop any of those out or break any of them by pushing it too hard. I've done that with other figurines, and I just I don't want to do that with this guy. Um, but you know that is something to look out for. So if you're buying this guy from eBay or something, take into consideration he might have some stiff joints in the wings specifically. Um, if I remember correctly, they do fold all the way up, so the the joints will move all the way up, and the wings can actually touch. 
and they go pretty far down like you know about here so you can get some decent flapping range you know if, depending on how you want to have them flying or uh, if you're posing them uh, posing the wings you do get some decent range there uh, again this I mean I I bought this guy probably over a decade ago in the store at Toys R Us he's seen a lot of use um, and he's just stiff over the years he's just an old fellow now so I'm not gonna push those wings um, but they are articulated I want to stress that because that's it's pretty cool I mean they could have just had these wings be a solid piece which mine kind of are at this point but they could have had them be a solid piece but they actually did put in that articulation so that's a nice touch as for the paint and detailing on this guy looks really good Stinkfly is a you know weird looking alien giant bug multiple eyes he's a weird looking alien but they they did great every line here every part of his cost or I don't know if it's a costume or shirt or just part of his body but they got all the lines in there they got all the detail on the eyes you know the black circles around the orange eyes Uh, there were a couple different versions of this uh, this alien a couple different versions of the toy um, one version which is the version I have obviously where his hands were painted black now this this is show accurate this is how his hands look in the show they're black um, but then there was also another version of this alien made where his hands were just the, the green color there was no black the green just continued all the way and uh, his hands were green too. That is not show accurate. Um, in the show, his hands are black. I'm not sure why they made two different versions. Like they're exact, exactly the same, other than the hands. So why that one little specific, strange detail? Um, I'm not sure which came first. So maybe they forgot the black detailing on the first one and then fixed it with the second version. That'd be my best guess. But yeah. Um, so if you're looking for this guy on eBay, might be something to watch out for if you really care about that that uh, minute, that kind of little detailing like that. Um, there are two different versions, one with green hands and one with black hands. If you're wanting to be 100% show accurate, uh, it'd be the ones with, with the black hands. And then one other little paint detail on this that I'll mention, um, the, the teeth that you see here, are actually they come black his entire head other than the omnitrix symbol but this entire you know black center of his head is just straight up black um, I had to paint the white on myself see if it focuses a bit more here there you go um, so the mouth is open and you know he's got that gaping mouth there and the teeth are sculpted so there are supposed to be teeth there but for whatever reason they didn't paint them it was just one solid black mouth um, so I painted the teeth white myself um, just because it, it kind of bugged me it was like you know they sculpted the teeth but they just didn't bother painting them um, you know off the top of my head I guess I don't even know if that was just maybe a defect with mine or if that actually is how they all came um, I'll look that up and uh, maybe point it out in the pictures I include at the end um, but yeah so a little thing probably most people wouldn't really care about I'm a little anal when it comes to that stuff um, so the teeth I did paint myself if you see this figurine on Google or Eva or whatever and you're like hey those you know those teeth aren't white they're black yeah it's because I painted them myself um, which I guess you know could be an option I if you get the stink fly with green hands you could just paint the black hands yourself you know if you find one with green hands for cheaper or something that's always an option um, but yeah I thought I'd point that out as for other detailing the face looks really good he has the lines there on his chin that he has in the show um, the wings look great all the all these lines on the wing they're actually they're te like indented and textured you can feel them on there they're not just painted on they're not just drawn on uh, but the wings are sculpted really nice I mean look at those they got the shape down perfectly and that looks all really good tail looks great green color is just right 
So overall, for such a weirdly shaped alien and just a, an odd guy overall, I think that they did pretty great on this figurine. Um, you know, biggest complaints, like I said, or maybe you got to watch out for the different paint variations, uh, some stiffness in the wings, and then you might have to color the teeth on your own if you care that much about that. But that's it for Stinkfly, and that's all the aliens I have to review today, so let me bring everyone else back up here. Alright, I got everybody back up, and so, you know, I did have a critique here and there for each of these figurines, um, but overall, awesome set of toys. I think they did really well. Um, any of these would be a great addition to a Ben 10 collection. Uh, you know, they, like I said, forearms has some really good articulation, uh, some, some stuff we don't usually see in these figurines. Uh, Stingfly's sculpt was great, you know, Accelerate and Grey Matter were awesome too. Um, the occasional critique I had, you know, they're just little things I like to point out, nothing that's a deal breaker. But, um, like I said, overall, really good figurines. Uh, my next review, I will be talking about Rip Jaws, Upgrade, Ghost Freak, and Cannon Bolt. So definitely keep an eye out for that video. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later.